love books. I hope you all are having a fantastic day so far. I recently got in my Star Looks September 2014 box. It was the Here Comes the Bride box. And instead of doing a basic unboxing video, I looked at the contents and I was like, there's no way I can just like not show them how these will look on the face. So I decided to do kind of a first impressions, get ready with me using these products featuring a little bit of bridal beauty. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the kind of look and review all in one and let's get into it. So I've already primed my lids and I'm going to go into the Star Looks eyeshadow in the shade Tan Glow. I don't know if it is like picking up on camera. It is the most beautiful tan champagne color. So I'm going to use a Sedona Lace 941 brush and I'm going to pack this all over the lid. In case you can't already tell, instant eye look. Absolutely a beautiful, beautiful color. However, I'm going to delve into my Morphe 35 Neutral Palette. Do you see how big this is? We're going to use this matte brown right here, so second row, third to the left. Yes, I know my left and my right. And I'm going to use this on a fluffy brush and dust this into the crease. using this matte cream color and sorry I'm blinding you guys this is a hard palette to hold up I'm going to highlight the brow bone with this now on the lower lash line I'm going to use the eyeliner in the color Oracle which is a shimmery gold we're going to just start this in the outermost corner and bring it in so in case you can't tell I'm not putting this on the waterline I am in fact just smudging it beneath the lower lash line then I'll just take my finger and really lightly run it along that. For eyeliner today, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. This is in the color Blackest Black on an Essence Gel Eyeliner Brush. Now taking a little bit of the same matte brown we used in the crease, I'm going to very lightly smudge this beneath the lower lash line. And it kind of just amplifies that gold eyeliner makes it a little bit darker. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to apply a coat of mascara to prepare my eyelashes for falsies. The false lashes I will be using today came with the Starlux box and they are the Starlux lashes in the number I'm not sure. I think it's FL9. As you can see, they are really, really thick and also long, but they're not like clubbing lashes or anything. So I think they're going to look really beautiful. They come cased in this really nice sturdy plastic box so you can reuse them over and over. They also come with eyelash glue, but I'm just going to use my own. As you can see, they really do add a little bit of extra volume and definition here, but it's nothing crazy. Unfortunately, I was taking off the second lash and I grabbed it in the wrong spot and tore the actual eyelashes out of it. It is not my day. I've never done anything like that before. It was completely and totally my fault. Um, so unfortunately, the lashes will have to come off and I will have to use something else. I'm really, really, really upset about it. Nothing wrong with the actual lashes, a big oopsie on my part. So instead, I'm going to go off camera and really quickly pop on a pair of Red Cherry number 43s, which are kind of my go-to. I went ahead and I added a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. Now I'm going to jump into blush. This is not in this month's Starlux box, but I did want to use this three-color blush palette. I'm going to take this really, really beautiful plum right here. As you can see, this has shimmer and it just looks gorgeous. So I'm going to take this and put this on the apples of my cheeks. This step is optional, but I'm also going to take a little bit of a highlighter. This is Max Mineralized Skin Finish and Light Scapade, and I'm going to pop this on all of the high points of my face. So right here on the cheekbones, I'll also take a little bit down the bridge of the nose, right there on the cupid's bow, and then I will take a tiny bit on my finger and pop that on the inner corners of the eyes. Now I will use a bit of brown pencil liner on the lower waterline, as well as the upper tight line. 
And to finish off her lips, I'm going to use the lip liner, and this is in the color Rose 8. Not Rosette, but Rose 8. And then I'm going to top that off with my Too Faced Melted Nude Lipstick. So as far as the review, um, let's start off with the lashes. These retail for $13. And honestly, they were incredibly beautiful. They felt very, very sturdy. It was totally my fault that they broke. I want to make that abundantly clear. I was using tweezers. I grabbed them in the wrong place. I wasn't thinking. The lashes just tore right out. And that is my own fault. I promise you any pair of lashes would do that. So that's unfortunate, but they were really beautiful and they looked great on the eyes when I did get the one pair on. So very, very sad that I didn't get the opportunity to wear those with this look. Um, but know that that does come with this. Then we have the eyeshadow in the color tan glow and this was a beautiful tan champagne the pigmentation on this was bananas and I thought that it blended like a dream onto the lid I think this is a great color for pretty much any time of year it's very universal it's going to make blue and green eyes pop but it will look good on brown eyes as well and you could see it was a very very simple eye look that was really the star of the show so incredibly beautiful shadow very happy to have this in my arsenal. Then we have the Cole Eyeliner Pencil, and this was in the shade Oracle. I do really, really like this. Um, I almost wish that it perhaps it had been a nice dark brown, but I can see where this definitely comes into play with the look. It is a beautiful gold, and I thought that it complemented this shadow really, really um, beautifully. I just wish that perhaps it had been something a little bit darker. I do think it's a great liner though in itself and for the look all encompassing. If you are a fan of gold and gold liners, this is a great one to add to your collection. It added such a beautiful depth on the lower lash line and even though I topped it off with shadow, you can still see the shimmer coming through. Very pretty color. Lastly is the product I would personally buy the box for all in itself, and that is this lip liner in Rose 8. Instead of Rosette, it's like Rose 8. This is my second Starlux lip liner, and I'm finding that the consistency with these is just bananas. Look at the pigmentation, and they just glide on. There is no tug or pull at the lips. They don't feel drying. They go on like a lipstick, very creamy and beautiful, and I love it. I love it so, 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 so much. So that was the Starlux 2014 September box. Now, unfortunately, I gave you guys some incorrect information. I told you that the box retailed for $25 a month. It actually retails for $15. I don't know why I thought that in my last unboxing, but for some reason, it's probably because you get so much with the box. I did not in any way, shape, or form think it could only be $15. But it is only $15 a month. Every month has a bit of a theme. They send you really great products. It's a brand that I know a lot of people don't know a whole lot about, but it's becoming a lot more popular and people are kind of figuring out about it. Um, and I think it's becoming a very big member of the beauty community. I personally like it. I personally love getting my Starlux box every month. This was my favorite so far, so I'm extremely excited about it. So if you want to check this out, make sure to check the bottom bar. It is still available. And yeah, I love you guys very, very much. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And until next time, I love books. I will see you very soon. Bye.